What you're looking at right here on the ground is a typical railroad tie. In this case, it was purchased at Home Depot. It was $26. They're heavy, so they usually require about two people to kind of move around properly. I mean, one person can kind of tumble them and do that kind of stuff. Give you an example. I'll lift one side up and you can probably judge how heavy it is. It's, it's heavy, and if you drop it, it, you can feel it thump. So again, that's what you want. These are treated with creosote, so they, you know, they're termite proof. The last as long as you have the container, which is what you want. You put untreated wood in there, it'll start to rot or get termites and it won't last. Now, when you do place it, again, like we've said earlier, on the leading edge one, what I call the, the last one as it falls off the truck, the container, it's, it's highly suggested that you cut it in half. That'll give you the ability to move it a little bit and have access to the center of the container if you have to adjust the doors. What we did in this case is we cut it in half. It allowed us to be able to put a bottle jack here to adjust the doors to get them to work properly because if you have to adjust the doors and let's say this is the side that needs to be adjusted and you've got it butted up against this container, you don't really have access to it. So it really makes it much easier if you cut that in half. The other thing too is that when you're butting them up together, one of the nice things is that they both can share it. it can minimize some of your cost also. So those are just things to consider as you're starting to put these in place. Again, the idea is to get the container off the ground for a variety of reasons. It makes it easier to balance the container if there's issues with the doors or they're settling later on, you, you're able to get a bottle jack there. So those are just the recommendations for being able to adjust it. You will only need two, one, for each end of the container. Mm -hmm.